Hello students, welcome to Exeometry course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2017. So this is our question number 8 and this question is actually from the topic differential calculus you can say. So let us have a look on this question. So we are given with a function. So let fx is equal to this function. Okay. So function is defined over whole r except the point 0. So now what question is asking us that let L represent the left hand limit of fx at 0 and R represent the right hand limit of fx at 0 then which of the following is true. So the question talks about whether L will exist or not, whether R will exist or not. So this is your question, right? Now, so this is a, is a basic question, okay? So let me start this question. So you have to find out the left hand and right hand limit for this given function f, right? So firstly what I will do, I will evaluate left hand limit for you. Now left hand limit is actually represented as x goes to 0 minus, okay, of fx. Now let us say if h is a number which is greater than 0, then this limit can actually be converted into another form which is like this limit h goes to 0 f of 0 minus h that is h is greater than 0 so this is the uh, is, is a is a representation for the left hand limit okay so this is what we will help us okay now for the right hand limit the same thing will work limit x goes to 0 plus suppose we have this limit so this is the representation okay these two are the representation for the left hand and right hand limit okay now they actually mean like this okay so these representations are defined like this okay where h is greater than 0 so that means h is going from the right direction to 0 you're getting my point or not so finally from these two uh, these two you can say definitions we can write our l so our l will be like this l is equal to okay so what you will get f of minus h this one is f of minus h so just place minus h in the given function right so minus h 1 minus h right minus h and here you are getting sine of uh, minus 1 over h okay now this mod will uh, okay so this is minus mod h so it will come out to be plus h so you will get minus h plus h times of 1 minus h and minus h and sine 1 minus uh, minus 1 over h is also here right now if you will cancel this h from here so finally you will get minus h times of sine 1 over h this is what you are get okay now see you are trying to figure out the limit where h goes to 0 right so if h goes to 0 this thing will go to sine infinity right now what do you know about the sine function it has a very important property that the value of sine will always lie between minus 1 and 1. This is what you already know. That means we don't know what this value is, but we know that this value is a finite number. So therefore, 0 into some finite number will end up with 0. Right? So similarly, we can do it for r. So now let us try to figure out what your r is. So this is f of h you have to place. So you will get h plus mod h 1, my, uh, 1 plus mod h over this uh, h. And here you are getting sine 1 over h. Right. Now this mod h will be h. So we can cancel these things. So what you will get finally 2 plus h h times of sine of 
1 by h right so what is your r your r will look like this limit h goes to 0 to sin 1 over h plus h sin 1 over h right now again use the thing we have used it here so this sine 1 over h is finite quantity when h goes to 0 okay and this one is 0 so this thing will end up with 0 now let us try to find out answer for this one now when h goes to 0 this will this one will be sine infinity so sine infinity means what the number will oscillate between minus 1 and 1 you will not get a finite number there so this one will oscillate between minus 1 and 1 you don't know what it is right so finally what you are getting that this limit does not exist because it the limit will oscillate between minus 1 and 1 okay so this will uh, not work so finally what you have proved that your a answer is correct and all other remaining answers are false because l is a, a, a we are getting a finite number for l so therefore we can say that l exists whereas we cannot say that l does not where we can say that l does not uh, r does not exist sorry so a is your correct answer let me use uh, a different pen for that okay so your a option is in uh, is correct option b is incorrect c and d all are incorrect okay so thank you.